Thanks for tuning in today to the Jenka Works program. Today we are changing a fuel pump on a 1996 GMC with the 3. Point, with the 5.0 V8, I'm sorry. Uh, it needs a new fuel pump. Fuel pressure is around 51 psi. It's got to be 56 to 62. Uh, this is the truck here. First thing we did was disconnect the negative battery terminal. That way we don't have a, any power going to the pump or anything like that while we're working on it. And you got to get this intake stuff off here. This air, air uh, intake, uh, the air filter and all that stuff's got to come off. Unplug your mass airflow sensors, stuff like that. That's all got to come out of here. So we'll come back in after we get that out. Yeah, so we got the air breather and all that stuff off now we're hunting for the Schrader valve for the gas relief on this system so it is you can see it there it's right there so you got to pull that off and don't lose it it's called a Schrader valve you don't want to hook up to your air Schrader valve your AC Schrader valve you want your gas one that's it right there so we got to hook our gauge up and relieve the fuel pressure before we operate on the fuel system all right the next step is to relieve the fuel pressure with the fuel pressure gauge up at that Schrader valve and I didn't have any fuel pressure and I'm gonna take the gas cap off and start to take the uh, where the gas inlet neck uh, is there at the gas cap, I'm gonna take those bolts out and get that loose so that way the bed can separate from the gas tank. So we're gonna do the raise the bed method. Uh, should make it easier. I've gone around and sprayed uh, stuff called free all on every bolt and thread that goes to that bed and I'm letting that sit. And we'll come back in when we Start taking the bolts out. Stick around. Well, as you can see, we got this thing jacked up. All the bolts are out on one side. We've got them still in on the other side. And I'm, I can get access to my fuel pump. And I've got all the connections sort of loose right now. The wiring harness is unplugged. It goes to the pump. So well, that's where we're at folks we're just trying to be as safe as possible we got everything jacked up good and safe and getting ready to take this thing out of here as you can see it's going to be a tough one because they've got the clip it's not even in there right this pump isn't even in there securely it's kind of halfway in with that nut but we'll come in after we get that pump out of there Okay, we got the new pump in. We're just trying to get these lines on. Oh. I'm using a 11 16th line wrench with a 19 millimeter open and boxed in to hold the hold the hose while I tighten it. Actually, I'm using the, the 5 8 end of the line wrench. This one started and it's kind of short.
get this tightened up here. Cash in your wallet, it just took $60 to switch. Oh. It's what we want, ladies and gentlemen. over here with your right hand and just hold that so everybody can see it. Thank you. Now watch, it should go to 61 or 62. 